Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today. This is just a short video on travel insurance. I do have another video on insurance and your questions answered, but some of that was a little bit um, out of date or might be out of date now as it was a few years ago, especially when there were still a lot of travel restrictions with the pandemic. So things have changed a little bit now and more people are confident in traveling. So, and it is more unlikely that there will be further any sort of further restrictions. So this is just an updated one. If you do find the videos useful, please do like and subscribe. I've got quite a few on travel and investing. So have a look at them. Some uh, life stories as well. Just other tips, reviews, hints, that sort of thing. So today is how to get travel insurance for the lowest possible price. Before we do that, why do you need travel insurance? Well, if you are going to be traveling, it's really important, even in the EU with your EHIC or GHIC, that won't cover the cost of baggage theft, significant delays. Um, I've got paid out for things like that before when the delay was so long that I either abandoned the trip or had to stay one extra night. But in the end, it did not cost me anything. So if there's things that the airline, for example, refuses to pay, if you um want to go to a private hospital, these are all situations where you really do need. If you have loss of earnings from a delayed flight, another one, um, airlines generally won't pay things like that. If the airline fails, goes bust, then these are all real situations that have happened in the past that people have claimed on their travel insurance if you had to travel home say for example if you broke your leg then then the airline won't pay for you to have the extra seats or you have to stay in your destination for longer these are all things that really you need to think about and if you are leaving britain and ireland then it's a good idea even if you just stay domestically it's a good idea to also have for your trips but it's not so important obviously as you are here it's easier to get around and also actually some companies have it as a requirement some airlines have it as a requirement for the trip that that um, especially during the pandemic that they want to see that you have insurance that is mandatory as an entry requirement so um, I think that's going to be a bigger thing as well especially with Brexit now that we've left the EU like I said the the G hit or E hit won't cover you for everything it'll just get you what a local person does so um and th that might mean paying for things as well if if a local person would pay so it's just really important if things go wrong if you're no longer able to take your trip like illness bereavement but you already paid for it so that could help you get some of the money back the good news is if you're young and healthy then there's um generally not not a high price for travel insurance but not to worry even if you are older or you do have some health issues it's not always a problem as long as you declare them and answer all the questions correctly and you're not at the moment on any waiting list or waiting for any test result and you haven't been given a terminal diagnosis then generally as long as uh, those things apply to you you will obviously pay a little bit more depending what level of cover you want for your insurance, but it's still possible to get a reasonably good deal. One thing I'd suggest is always looking at single and annual price, because often an annual price is not that much more expensive than a single and can even be cheaper. So it's really worthwhile doing that. If you only go on short trips and maybe look for something with a shorter maximum trip length, that might also help reduce the price or if you know for example that you only go to Europe or Spain and just have those destinations included in the deal that will also bring the premium down by quite a bit so let me share my screen with you guys and you'll see here this is a really good website um, I'll put all the links in the description again so top cashback they really do help you reduce your expenses, not just on travel insurance, but anything. So here you get 17.85% of your premium back. 
you just need to make sure that you follow the instructions there so do it immediately and fully online and it might take 45 days after the purchase but all you need to do is go to this button here and, and the other thing good about top trash pack is that at the moment so it says you've recorded the visit there is a 10 pounds bonus with my link as soon as you have 10 pounds for payable commission then you'll also get another 10 pounds you're able to withdraw how you want your bank paypal uh, there's a few other options too but between now and easter there is also the easter trees easter egg hunt so i've already won 10p and i'm on my way to winning potentially five pounds or even 100 pounds here so you just find these little birds that float about and you go on it and it tells you your egg there's also a prize draw to win a thousand pounds so with all of these things added together it really is possible to to get your travel insurance for free or even uh to be in profit from it so oh, once you've gone on the button it will open up this page here remember you do need to do it all in once to get your money back so what i would suggest if you're just looking around at prices different policies then um don't go back to the travel supermarket side directly go back to top cashback and then do it as another transaction so unfortunately that would mean you need to get a new quote every time but it's actually fairly fast to do you just need to meet these conditions here so most people uh, watching this channel probably would be able to meet those in the uk as i said it's sometimes cheaper to do an annual multi-trip and just put europe if you know you only go to europe for example but there are other options available there now, this isn't one that gets people. You need to do it as soon as you've booked. So if you're planning to book a trip tomorrow, then do it as starting tomorrow, right? Um, Just do it as soon as you're planning to book a trip. Or if you have already trips booked, then press today's date. Sorry. So you may not be insured if you do already have a trip booked and something did happen between the date you booked the trip and the date you took out the policy because they will ask if there's any known reason why you wouldn't be able to take the trip but it's always better late than never with these things it's better to do it at the time but or just before you book but if you do do it later then at least you have some level of protection again most people using it for holidays would be 31 days but if you are doing work or other things then you do need a higher policy and obviously these things are optional and extras if there's two of you, you might find it cheaper to do it as a couple then just enter your details here then it will ask if you have a pre-existing medical condition so anything that any sort of medication that you take at the moment any sort of health issue you do need to declare it so obviously you'd answer if you answer yes then they ask some follow-up questions depending on what it is they might want to speak to you on the phone just to get some more information or write to your doctor but not always yesterday i booked a policy for someone and they just declared all of their problems they'd ask them some questions and they were quite happy with that then you just put your emails to if you agree and then it will sell you some different quotes in order from cheapest to most expensive but you do see the different levels what you do get included with each policy so just because something's cheaper doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you what you want to do is find what's cheapest for you so for example if you uh, really have a lot of valuables or gadgets you're going to want something that includes that if you don't want to pay an excess so the excess is just the first amount of a claim it's like if you claimed for 200 pounds your excess was 50 you would get 150 back, not 200 because of the excess. So maybe that's important to you. Maybe you're not bothered. Maybe you're worried about delays, baggage. You want to make sure those things are included. Maybe you want um one with winter sports cover. What you need to do is find not only the cheapest, but the one that's cheapest for you with the things that are important for you, with the destinations, maximum length of stay that you want, whether the the policy includes certain things there are some that all do include that loss of passport but there are some things that not all policies will 
include. So these are all things. And then once you found the cheapest one for you, you just enter your payment details and your documents are emailed to you. So it is really simple. I'll put the link below for you to get started. And with all of these things, you may even, even find that you get a uh, insurance policy for just a few pence per day if you're doing a single trip in Europe. So do have a look at it there. And do check out my other travel videos. I'll put the playlist up there as well. And I will be back soon with another video. As always, please do like, subscribe. If you have any questions, you're able to drop them in the comments or send me a message on Facebook. As I said, I'll put all the links below. And I really hope you have a good, happy, safe summer.